Today we're opening seven legendary collection Joey's World. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I have already opened seven legendary collection Joey's World. We're gonna open all these packs in this video. I spent about $100 per box, so we're gonna have, every time we pull something, it's subtracting from our loss to see if we can break even. Let me know in the comments how much money you think we'll lose on this opening. But first, we have a giveaway. I will be giving away this sealed legendary collection Joey's World. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know your favorite card from this set. There is a ton of cards in this set total, so like you've got a lot of options. Let's go ahead and hop in of the opening. I'm excited about this because I've never opened more than like one of these at a time. So I think total we have 35 packs in this opening. So there's a lot of stuff to get to. Hopefully we can get the best cards. There's a couple of commons that are like over $10 in here and they are Gate Guardian and Gatling Dragon. So let's see if we can pull those. We got a Griffin Wing. Metal Reflect Slime is in here. I forgot about that. Probably was worth something until I got that reprint in the Ring Dragon Raw Pack. Uh, Giant Trap Hole. Got the Vampire Baby. The Summon Skull, a regular rare, very cool. Harpy Queen, this is a pretty nice card, ultra rare. So you're going to get a rare, an ultra, a super, and a secret in all these packs, which is pretty exciting. So we got a lot of pulls to come. And a Destroyer Sword. It's a cool dino card, but uh, unfortunately no longer relevant uh, because it gets it surges Jurassic World. And dinos are good because of Lost World, not Jurassic World. So kind of funny. And Call of the Haunted, super rare. Very nice. Only like super right there. I kind of like that. It's very, very subtle, but awesome. Next pack, we have 35 packs today. This is going to be a long video. We're going to have a lot of good stuff. Ooh, Chaos Trap Hole is a pretty good card. So that's a, that's a good one. Okay, Ryu Koki, also pretty good. Vampire's Curse. There's an ultimate rare of this that I own. Very cool. The Shadow Tamer. Trade in Ultra. This is good for blue eyes. Okay, Ultra Rare. Trade in and... Red Eyes Darkness Metal. This is a sick card as well. What an amazing secret. And an Amazonist Paladin. I don't know if this one's very good or not, but it's a super rare. We'll take it. And Spell Reproduction. So, wow, this is a good start. There's a couple good packs. I really like this set because there's so many cards worth at least a few dollars. Like, it, I think the most expensive card is Foolish Burial, which is like over 30. You know, there's a ton of like four and five dollar cards, which you love to see when you're opening a set. We have a second coin toss. The Snake Hair. I think these are worth like a hundred bucks now, the whole box. So, by the way, you guys can win that. But I think they're about a hundred dollars. So, they are pretty expensive, but you do get a lot of decent stuff. Visionary. Ooh, a zombie world. Still good to this day. It did get an ultra reprint and dual overload, I believe. So look at that. That looks really good. Oh, and a saber source. So we're getting our dinos today. Okay, not too crazy on that one. And then a harpy lady one with a cyber tech alligator. I would say I would say that was probably our worst pack so far. Let me know in the comments. What do you, which pack number do you think will be our best pack of the opening? Number one through 35. You got a lot of options. Harpy lady sisters. We got the panther warrior. Tail swipe. All right, that's a dinosaur. Plague Wolf. This used to be a secret rare as well. It's pretty crazy. Shadow Tamer. This is a very old card. I think Elowin maybe or something. Dunamis Dark Witch TP8 Super Rare originally, I believe. And another Red Eyes Darkness Metal. This is one of our best pulls so far. And a Polymerization. This is a good Super Rare as well. Just look at it. Very subtle Super Rare foiling, but it looks really good. It kind of reminds me of the OTS Super Rare. It's very, very nice. But before we keep going, I've been streaming on Twitch every single weekday. So go check out the link in the description if you guys want to see me live. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff over there. So go check it out. All right, next one. We have Mega Pack, Joey. Normally, we like I think this would be the end of our box, but we have seven boxes. So a lot to go. Jam Breeding Machine, Harpy Lady Sisters. we got the Plague Wolf. Spirit Barrier. All right, we got the Geofree, the Sword Master. So far, none of the $10 comments. Jinzo Rare and Heavy Storm. Another good one. We will take that. And Pot of Greed Secret Rare. You love to see this guy. He's very dark backgrounded, but he is a secret rare. Look, look at this. You can barely see this. Very interesting. His teeth. Check out his teeth. You can see it. And then Call of the Mummy with Chewbacca. That's a very cool as well. But wait. 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. Next pack. Hinotama. Rocks on special. Oh, no. The Skull Stalker. It's Joey's role. We got to read it. Foist. He's going to grab you with his monster with his claws. Then attack you again with his poison stinger. <laughs> Wild. Black Stego. Tail swipe. You love to see that. The Lesser Fiend, all right, and a Reinforcement of the Army, another epic Duel Monsters card, okay. Another Red Eyes Darkness Metal, that's three of these. Would this be in the same box or would this be the next box? I don't know, Harpy Lady and Grab, I thought this was a super in here, that must be Yugi's World, and then Harpy Lady, very cool. So a lot of Harpy Lady stuff and Joey stuff. That was a sick pull. We've gotten three Red Eyes Darkness Metal, that's insane. Monster Tamer, all right, we got the Scar Scan of Dark World, Zombie Master. Fossil Dig, very good card. Gravekeeper's Visionary. 
Harpy Dancer. This got a lost art print, but it was probably worth more before that. And then a Solemn Judgment. Secret Rare First Edition. That's such a nice card. And then another Chewbacca with the Wall Shadow. What is this? There it is. Look at that. Wall Shadow. Attack Yugi's Celtic Guardian. Kunai with Chain. What is this? There it is. Kunai with Chain. Bringing it back, baby. We got to pull that out. Ultra Evolution Pill. The Suijin. A lot. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's the anime. If you have not seen it, go watch it right now. Lava Golem. And a Spirit Reaper. Okay, that's a nice print. And Trap Jammer. That would have been nice as a Solemn Judgment. We'll take Solemn Judgment over that. And then a Harpy Lady 3. So I think we've gotten all the Harpy Ladies so far. Like one... The regular one through one through three and so four total so far pretty good opening we've got a lot of good cards so far we will take this all right we've got the dark dust spirit the strike ninja oh we're rocking special we got the jinzo and the imperial iron wall okay pretty cool card another pot of greed pog in we got the pog of greed and then the polymerization with the great mammoth fossil excavation and the graceful dice two pogs three red eyes darkness metals this is a good start we've got a pre-mat premature burial galling dragon $13 common according to the price guide I didn't click in so it might be less or might be more but it's around $13 that's insane shadow tamer very nice we want to pull the gate guardian that's also one another imperial iron wall that's back to back mystical space typhoon this card's actually not very expensive because there's so many prints but it's still beautiful and then the harpy lady too you love to see that with cyber harpy copycat on hayabusa at night all right lesser fiend heavy storm snow on light of dark world very nice and then a harpy lady one snow was the one we kept getting the other day that's not a great pull but axe raider guilford the lightning and harpy's pet baby dragon so far i would say very good pulls very good pulls let's see what we can do this time hinotama oh the skull stalker Overpowering Eye, Fairy Meteor Crush, A Premature Burial, very good. Jinzo, trade in, all right, very nice. That's a good one. That's like four or five bucks, I think. Raigeki, Secret Rare, all right. You love to see that because Raigeki is pretty relevant these days. I mean, it's not as good as it used to be, but it's still pretty good. And then another Poly, that's like our fourth one so far. Next pack, Legendary Collection 4, Joey's World. What can we pull? We've got the Ever-Living Underworld Cannon. The Hunting Instinct, very cool. Song of the Thunder. Toon Summon Skull, that's a rare. And a Harpy Queen, okay. Also got a Lost Art. And Gateway to Dark World. Okay, we don't really want to see the Dark Worlds. And then Pyramid Turtle. This is a really cool print if you're playing old formats because Pyramid Turtle is insanely good. Fairy's Hand Mirror and Time Wizard. Still so many packs left. There's a lot of cards. Like, we're going to have a lot of good pulls. I'm going to be going through these after this, like uh, post on TCG Player, etc. But Ultra Evolution, we got the Suijin. Overpowering Eye. Oh. The thing's crawling over it. Did it crawl over the camera? All right, I'm being attacked by an ant. My face cam, there's an ant crawling all over it. Okay, yeah, I don't know. It might have crawled across the lens, which is pretty funny. Harvey Dancer and a scapegoat secret rare with a silent doom. All right, scapegoat is pretty big. That's a really nice one. Secret rare printing. How much money have we lost so far? I like. I just want to know if we can make back like half our money from this. I mean, plus the giveaway, but I mean, that's that doesn't really count, but... Uh, six cents this is the card that everybody went crazy for right when it came out six cents it says declare two numbers from one to six when your opponent rolls a six out of die and if the result is one of the numbers you declared you draw that many cards so you could declare five and six and if they hit five or six you draw five and six otherwise you mill them but even that could be abusable that's insane okay <laughs> yeah that's pretty good judgment of anubis we got the hell poemer the harpy girl oh the rocks is special deal with dark ruler that's to get out the berserk dragon beige vanguard of dark world now we're getting the dark world stuff Ah, oh, stop it! And then a Dark World Lightning with an elegant egotist. Pretty cool. I mean, Dark World Lightning is cool, but it's definitely not that good. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Struggle is real today. Fiend Mega Cyber. He's Cyber. He's Fiending. We got the Swamp Battle Guard. Rocco Gregato number one. Summon Skull. Reinforcement of the Army. And a Torrential Tribute Secret Rare. Boom! That looks nice with a baby dragon. Very nice. And a dice jar. This might actually be worth something as well. Pretty cool. And then we got the Sword Slasher, of course. Very cool artwork on this guy. We have not pulled a Gay Guardian, though, as a common. He is a $10 common, so please give us the Gay Guardian. Gravity Bind. Hinotama. Roulette Barrel. The Trap Hole. A Lesser Fiend. Brawn, Mad King of Dark World. And... Scapegoat again! You love to see it. Scapegoat... And a call of the Chewbacca with a card of sanctity. Very good. This would be a fun set to like open up and do like a draft kind of thing with. Because there's a lot of good cards in here. Like, I don't know about the monsters. It'd be kind of like big bungus probably. I don't really know like what kind of strategy you would have. But it would still be pretty fun, I think. 
Spirit Barrier, cool. We got the Gear Free, the Sword Master. I just posted an ultimate rare version of this on my Twitter the other day. Go check that out. That was pretty awesome. Spell of Pain. The Thousand Dragon. Fairy's Hand Mirror. Summon Skull. And another Imperial Iron Wall. We have a play set of these now. And Mirror Force Secret Rare. You'll love to see that. Probably the worst out of Torrential and Solemn in terms of value, but still pretty cool. Another Call of the Mummy. Wow, we're getting a lot of the same supers. Did they only print like two supers in this set? Because we've got Imperial Iron Wall, Polymerization, and like Baby Dragon. That's like it. It feels like. Maybe I'm forgetting a couple, but it hasn't been many. Lava Battle Guard. We got the Magic. This is coming out in the next OTS pack, which is weird. Magical Stone Excavation. Legendzo. And... Stray lambs. Okay, that's not very good. And snow, unlight of dark world with red eyes, beach chick. Okay, there's a new super rare. We'll take that at least. Ancient tool. What a tool, man. Look at that guy. Look at that haircut. What a tool. Salamandra. Very cool. Wolf. Ah. Oh, wait. This one has a Joey text. This alpha wolf uses his, uses his senses to smell to uses his senses to smell to find the enemy. Hey, quit sniffing at my socks. <laughs> it has like him talking to the wolf. That's amazing. All right, Jinzo. All right. And we had another Gates of Dark World. And oh, Saber Source. Okay. I see normals and I think they're good, but they're not. How many of these is this? We are calling mummies today, boys. We are calling mummies and girls and women and children too. No, sorry. That was Anakin. Uh, no, not. We didn't do it. No. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So many weird jokes. Oh, what? This card's backwards. Okay, it is, it's a trap. Dark Geroid. Little D. Yo. Yo, this Tyrannosaurus tots a terrible temp, but I can't even say that. Little D is added again. Pyramid of Wonders. You'll have to see that. I need to, to put Little D in my binder. That's a good one. Dark Triceratops. I deal with Dark Ruler. Spirit Reaper. Very nice. That one's a little dinged, unfortunately. And a Raigeki. Also a little ding. No. Maybe this will be playable. Okay, this is a super rare. And then a Call of the Hunted. Very nice. With a Triangle Ecstasy Spark. All right, pretty cool. Still a lot of packs to go. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. So if you guys enjoy the longer videos, let me know in the comments that you like them because then we can do more of them. Very exciting. You see how that works? Pretty cool. Let's go. Overpowering Eye. Oh, Rex and Special. We got the Giant True Nade. And don't forget to like the video if you're enjoying it and subscribe for more epic content. Lesser Fiend. <laughs> Harpy's Pet Dragon. That's the first one we've got. That's actually pretty nice. Another Snow. All right, Snow. We need just stop. And then Harpy's Hunting Ground. A lot of Harpy stuff. We're getting all of it, it seems like. All right. Next pack. Legendary Collection. Joey's World. Launcher Spider. The Warrior Returning Alive. Wall Shadow. Attack Joey's Celtic Guardian. Monster Tamer. Red Eyes Zombie Dragon. And... Spirit Reaper. That's a good ultra rare. We got a burp and a pot of green. Still no foolish burial or Harpy's Feather Duster, though, which is pretty sad. Steric Party. Very cool. We are definitely looking for those top two cards because we have yet to pull them. We have pulled three pogs, though, which is pretty sick. I mean, we're not going to complain about that. That's definitely one of the good ones. Guilford, we got the Axe Raider, the Tyrant Dragon, Amazon is Scouts, Ragged Warrior, Shadow Tamer, and zombie world okay and foolish burial asking you shall receive the most expensive card in the set with another call of the haunted which also is value a couple bucks deck time fairly i wonder if that has value that's a good card vampire genesis harpy's pet baby dragon go for the lightning axe raid fiend skull dragon and okay we got the brow huntsman of dark world and Oh, wait, that was the secret rare. For some reason, I thought that was the ultra. And then the baby dragon. All right, Brow took our secret rare spot, unfortunately, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's go with Lord Poison. Fairy box. We got the Divine Knight is Jark. Mad Sword Beast. Jam Defender. Chinzo. Gates of Dark World. We got like five Dark World decks at this point. And okay, Torrential or Solemn Judgment or Compulse. Compulse is decent. We'll take it. It's a few bucks and a Red Eyes Beat Chick. Very nice. I think Compulse is probably worth more than Mirror Force, actually, because Mirror Force has so many prints, which is funny. It's pretty weird because Mirror Force was so good for so long, but Compulse is also a very good card. Jam Defender. Come on, give us the Gay Guardian. Toon Summon Skull. Monster Reborn. The first time pulling that. That's a good card. And... Destroy Source. Ooh, that's probably one of the worst. And then I call the Haunted. Very good. Revival Jam. Kunai with Chain and Little Wingard. You love to see Kunai with Chain. I probably need to pull that out and save some of those. Next pack, we're getting down to maybe like eight packs left or something. So we're definitely, I think, under two like full boxes left, which is pretty cool. Lakunga. That's an old card. Fiend Mega Cyber. Swamp Battle Guard. Also in the last OTS or in the newest OTS. Chain Destruction. Black Horn of Heaven. Solemn Judgment number two. Maybe we'll get one more and get a play set. 
And yet again, the 10th call of the mummy with a regenerating mummy. I like mummies and all, but like, dang, that's a lot. Let's see if we can get that gate guardian or another Gatling. Jurassic World Survival Instinct. This is why they're so expensive, because they don't have a lot of prints. And then in this set, you can't pull them. <laughs> Harvey's Girl, they're more rare than some of the... There are more rare than some of the... Like all the foils at this point. Inside Queen, we've got Masaki, the legendary swordsman. Gravekeeper's Visionary. Horn of Heaven. Wah, wah, wah. And... Destroyer Swords, dang. Come on, Dark World Dealings. Have we pulled that yet? Oh, you're the first one. A few more packs of Legendary Collection, Joe. This has been one of the most fun openings yet. This has been awesome. I've never opened this many, like, Legendary Collection Mega Packs like this. So this has been pretty cool. All right, Two-Headed King Rex, Magic Jammer, Divine Knight, Ishark. I would love to do this with Yugi's Roll, but it's so ridiculously expensive. But maybe one day. Mad Sword Beast, Shadow Tamer. Red Eyes Black Dragon is in here. We finally pulled it. Let's go. And then, oh, another one. The Darkness Metal. That's number four with an Amazonist Paladin and an Axe Raider. Okay, that was a great pack right there. Still a lot of cards to be pulled. I mean, this set is massive. I know Yugi's World had like 300 cards or something. I don't know if this one was quite that big, but it's definitely pretty big. There's the Shadow Ghoul. Wall Shadow Jr. Volcanic Eruption. We've got the Red Eyes Zombie Dragon. Beige Vanguard of Dark World. Okay, whatever. You're beige. All right, Trap Jammer and... Are we hunting ground? Okay. Feather Duster, Metal Reflect Slime. Still not sure if that's worth something. Only the second pull of all of these so far. Down to the last four. We are officially in the final box. That last one was the final box, but you know, we're getting there. Let's see. Okay, that was... These opened very strangely. We got the Dungeon Worm. The Launcher Spider. I'm interested to see like what the number is at, like how much we've lost right now. Lava Golem. We got the Beige Vanguard of Dark World. Oh, and we finally got one. Harpy's Feather Duster. Let's go. That is six. Secret Rare. That's the second best card in the set. Amazon is Paladin. And it's still, it's not that much. It's like maybe 20 bucks. I mean, it's still pretty solid, but for the second best card, there's not like super high value cards in here, but there's a lot of solid values we talked about earlier. Three more packs. Can we get a Gate Guardian before the end of this? We haven't gotten one. Red Eyes Wyvern, Nightmare Wheel, Release Restraint, Makiro the Destructor, probably worth something for the, uh, the Errata. Amazon Spellcaster, even though it was banned. Beast of Tawar and Gravekeeper Stella. First time pulling that, that's a good thing. And then Book of Moon Seeker Rare. Also first time pulling that with a Harpy Lady. All right, we're getting a lot of the decent stuff. Two more packs. Let's go. What shall we pull? Makiora Destructor. Let me know in the comments what you guys, if you got how close you guys were in your guesses about how much we were going to lose. Makiora. We hadn't pulled that. Now we've pulled two in a row. Genzo. Amazon is Tiger. Also hadn't pulled this. There's just a lot of cards in this set. And Pot of Avarice. Another awesome one. I feel like our pulls have been pretty good. Hysteric Party. We've been pulling a lot of the good cards. Ooh, look. The Brachio Radius. A Radius. That's really cool. I mean, very basic looking dinosaur, but I like it. Slot Machine. Where's his little brother? Very good. All right. Final pack. What shall we pull? The Maximum Six. I haven't seen that guy yet. You have freed the Iron Knight. We got the Amazon Scouts. I don't think we're getting a Gate Guardian, guys. Rocket Warrior. Tiger Axe, Beast Skull Dragon as a rare, first time seeing that. Monster Reborn, that's a good way to end it on the Ultras, and can we get a good secret? Destroyer Swords, why? And then the Baby Dragon, that's a good super rare. Okay, interesting way to end it. And it looks like this is how much we lost. I don't know, but you guys will see. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG, Trust Cards, Stone Full Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins of Doom, Stanley, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Noland, and Anandatai Show. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.